Welcome back, everybody. So I'm still working down here at the catacombs, and that's not right. The first thing I do is make a mistake. So I want... I'm going to start, start with the stairs and work my way down. I figure that's the easiest thing to do. Um, I think I want to fill in... Yeah, so that's going to be, that's not going to be good. I mean, I don't want to, like, have a zombie in there. I mean, I could just see, like, a baby zombie spawning in there. That would be quite annoying. There, going to have plenty of light in all this. So we'll do this. There we go. Down. And down. I'm going to have to get over here. Like that. Let's do... What's in this? I have a little bit of lighting on the stairs. That may be too much lighting, but I think I'll be fine. There. Oh, yeah, that's not going to work. So let's uh, do this. There. Okay, that takes us down. I wonder how high that is going to need to be. Just trying to figure a gauge for how tall the ceiling should be. So I guess if the ceiling is as at the level above this, Or I guess the you know, the ceiling could be at the same level, like that. So that could be ceiling height, right there. There. I guess they just have cracked stone. So let's do that. That. And that. I think that'll be okay. And from this side, just going to fill it in with cobble. Throw a light there just so I don't have any trouble. And here, I just have cracked stone. Oh well. That is the ceiling right there. Yeah, that's still pretty high. Yeah, that'll be fine. That's not too low. Gives me a nice big ceiling. I 
And we'll have to add extra lighting through here because everything, these are all spawnable blocks. So it may be a bit of creative uh, like torching on the walls and that kind of stuff. I need to fill in this. Actually, I don't need to fill in that because uh, this is the ceiling, so no one's going to see that. I mean, the most I'll have to do is go up there and light the top of this. Otherwise, we're going to have a bunch of mobs. Okay, so that's the entrance. So here, I'm trying to get a design on the wall. So if we do something like this, um, where is you know, some cracked stone? So do that. Oops. Try to make an arch. So like that. Is that gonna work? And then we'll fill it in. Oh dang it, I'm gonna have to put something behind it, aren't I? Maybe um, stone brick. So if I do like a stone brick there. Oh, I don't have any more. Oh, well, there. Let's see. Uh, that doesn't work. I think I'm going to one there. Something like that. And then we'll just do there. And I guess maybe if I do this ahead of time. Dang, well, let me get let me get some actual stone bricks. I don't want the cracked. So I thought I had some I've got stone. No stone. There we go, stone brick. So like here. I, those zombies make me nervous. I hear them. I know where they're at. But I keep expecting someone to like sneak up and hit me in the back. That and that. Oops. Okay, and then I think that might work. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. And then we'll we're gonna have a. Uh, this you know the ceiling is going to be up there like that so that'll be one side so i'll just run that all the way down there and it kind of works with that I, I had debated whether to actually set this back one block so dig this out and this would be the back side and i think it'll work fine with the wall just like that and then like here, we're gonna go up and let's uh, let's extend the ceiling out. Like that. That'll be fine. So I'll have a column there. 
Um, what am I going to need to go up here? Something like that. And it looks a little weird this way, but that's because the rest of the wall is not in here. So like, like see, that's going to be the rest of the wall there. And even up here. Ah, I tell you, those zombies make me nervous. Even though I know none of them are uh, down here. So that's fine there. And actually, this is going to be the chiseled. That's what I'm going to leave a tiny little passage, but I think that actually will fit. That will actually, uh, yeah, that's actually going to fit with the design. lights up here in case uh, I forget I don't want it don't want mobs up here there this actually wouldn't make a bad room up here let's get down take let me take a look Oh yeah, that is getting that look. Kind of a scary, dark look. And then the passage, yeah, you got the little passageway through there. Yeah, I think that that is going to be, that's going to be what I'm looking for here. Yeah, I kind of like using the cobble as a, an accent stone. I think that looks out, you know, that makes it look pretty good there. Now, once this whole thing's filled in, I think it'll give me that somewhat creepier look to it. 
And I think I'm going to do torches on the side there. Just, I'll put torches behind the wall. So I've got ambient light, but just for effect, I'll put torches on the wall there. That way he has more of a medieval look. Yeah, because like here, this will be fine there. I finished the hallway. The only thing I have problem with is this down here. I don't like that granite showing through. I think I'm gonna just um, do that. Will that work? That's not gonna work either. Luckily it's the end here so I can be a little different with it and then I said I was going to do torches but I've actually decided to do candles I thought that would be kind of cool so we'll just uh, make some candlesticks right here and we'll put the candle on top of it. Oh, and then so I'll have candles going down the aisle like that. So I'll have another one there, there, and there. And then I'll have to debate. I think I think I'm gonna get away with that. Put two more here and two more here. A little higher up. Okay, so that makes boy. I was just looking at the time, it's like holy, I only got one hallway done? That's crazy. So I don't yeah, so this is gonna be a different design, and actually everything else is gonna be a different design too. So I think I can put the ceiling in. So I think I'm going to run through here and put the ceiling in. And then uh, figure, you know, start working on this other, uh, the other walls. But I'm going to uh, do that in another video since uh, I don't want to, I'm going to chop this into uh, little bite-sized pieces. So that's your little nibble for today. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.